I would call you like the, I want to make sure I'm saying this right, like the master guru <laughs> behind Erwan. Is that, I, I don't want to insult the wizard. anyone. Yeah. <sighs> it's such a culture. What is the title? What's your title? <sighs> Officially. VP of, <laughs> I call it VP of stuff now. VP of stuff. <laughs> yeah. I, I Really, it started off as a, uh, I worked in the tonic bar just as a, uh, they were guys back there named Truth and, and acupuncturist and all these amazing people that worked back there. And I, and I, I was shopping there for many, many, many years before I even worked there 12 years ago. And I, was, I said, I, I want a job. And they said, well, read these three books and then come over here and we're going to talk to you about it and we're going to test you on it. And you wouldn't even get a job there unless you had a, a level of knowledge of just talking about herbs or Taoist tonic herbalism or wow. health and wellness or anything like that. So it was tough to get in. And then I got in and here we are now. For people that don't live in LA, I mean, it's so, the brand's so prominent now, but for people that are unfamiliar with the brand, how, when, if you were to the layman who has no idea what the, what the brand is, how would you start by describing it? Um, Walter Robb is the ex-CEO of Whole Foods and I walked the store with him the other day and he said, Jason, you give me the retail shivers. And I said, well, really? He's like, what you're doing here is amazing. It's, it reminds me of the early days of Whole Foods. And I was like, I was like, really? He's like, he's like, yeah. He goes, he goes, your knowledge, the people, the customer service, the aisles, the cleanliness, just the vibe, you feel it. You feel it with the customers because you know you, you're creating a culture that's something super special. And it's rooted in knowing where your food comes from. And that's, that's where everyone began. It is so true. Today, I walked in the Beverly Hills location to shoot the Lauren Bostic pink drink, which we'll get to. And you walk in and it's, it's, it's the feng shui and the energy. And there's like a, there's a feeling that you get. It's everything is organized by colors too. Like it's very mm -hmm. aesthetically pleasing to someone. I always am looking at like tones and and all the labels are turned out. It and you can tell that the people that work there really care and believe in the mission. They really do. I mean, it all starts with Tony and Josephine, who are the owners, and they're just an amazing couple, uh, like you guys. Uh -huh. And uh, you know, but they're they're just they just complement each other, and that and. and you know, you know, one's got the engineer brain, the other's got the, 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 the art side and they come together and they just, they let people do their job and they let them uh, express themselves and they let, let, let us all empower ourselves by coming up with new ideas. We didn't get here by one mind. We got here by our, our community and all the cultures coming together. And for me, my, my team is my community as much as my community is my community. We're all in this together. It's all about building relationships and it's all built on trust which again goes back to why Air One was even started in the first place. Let's go back to that. So how did this seed of an idea become what it is today? Because it's really like a conglomerate now. 1872. Guy named Samuel L. Butler wrote a book, a satire on the Victorian times, basically, a utopian book, almost dystopian. And it was about, you know, just... It, health driven, but mostly about it. It was it was a crazy book. No machines were allowed, and it was a crime to get a disease. And I mean, this is in a fictional place, you know, nowhere part of that whole thing. I think the author was meaning to, you know, air one spelled backwards, but the W and the H. And it kind of started there, right? And then in the nineteen forties and fifties, uh, Mister and Missus Cushy, who were the doctors of, um, they end up becoming doctors. Um, of macrobiotics they they uh mr kushi was in new york and he he read the book air one in the 40s and 50s somewhere, somewhere around there so the story goes and it settled in he wanted to change the world through political science but he didn't know how to do it so he said you know what i think i can change the world through food hmm. and he named the company air one in 1966 and he used the name so he was inspired by this book that was written in 1872 where you know um you need to know where your food comes from, right? Who's making it? Who's who, like, who are the farmers back then when the monocultures and everything that was going on with pesticides and herbicides ruining our foods and our crops and our soils. They, you know, he, he's like, no, we're going to, we're going to know our farmers. And then from there, that seed was planted. It went through tons of owners until finally Tony and Josephine was like, wow, this is pretty cool. You know what I mean? They, they got, they got involved and you know, they weren't thinking anything. I mean, we were surrounded by whole foods, you know, 12 years ago, just like we, we were just like doing our thing, you know, and 
And we just started growing because, you know, other people do their thing and we're doing ours. So Tony and Josephine opened the first Air One where? It was already one Air One in Bev- off of Beverly um, uh, by the uh, CBS. Okay. That was the that was the one that was sitting there for 30 some years. Um, down the street, it was sitting there for a little while. It started off in Boston and then it, like I said, it migrated over here and and then we've been just sitting here pretty much chill, like, you know, doing our thing. Because remember, this wasn't 20 years ago, 15 years ago, health and wellness was not mainstream. Now it is mainstream. Now people know there's too much science out there backing up, you know, the, the, the beauty of food and, and minerals and vitamins and how everything works together. Your microbiome. The, I mean, it's so much that's going on, but really health and wellness is more simple. We than just did think. a whole episode about how our minerals are being stripped. We did it with Dr. Slovak and we had all this whole conversation. It was the first time you know, this show that we had, like dove deep into it and the audience ate it up because people were like, oh shit, yeah. like, what we're eating may not be what we're hoping for. What Mm-mm. is something that you see people buying at Avon's or a regular supermarket that that is ludicrous to you? Like you can't even believe it's on shelves. I mean, like anything that's, a, 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 I mean, anything that's a Cheeto or an Oreo or anything that's barely, pro- I mean, listen, you, you got to eat clean foods. You know, Mediterranean diets are some of the best diets out there. You're, you're eating, or, you know, organic olive oils, vegetables, you know, not, not crazy meats, but, you know, a little bit of meats and fish and things like that. It's eating, listen, the foundation of all health and wellness starts with just eating organic, just eating as much organic as possible. And I know it's not feasible for a lot of people to do it all the time, but you do it when you can. So that's what I would say to you is is, is it's not feasible for someone and, and maybe mm-hmm. that it's not in the budget to eat organic. Is there something at Air One that they could start with that's affordable? That's like a great well, thing to add. You could still eat. There's so many things that are affordable. I mean, you buy broccoli or you buy you can buy so many different vegetables in bulk and, you know, from farmers markets or from Air One. You can get so much out of that with organic grains, um, you know, combining your foods correctly is, is is definitely a thing, but that gets into how your body works. Your body's going to work a lot different than my body. And you're going to digest a lot better. Some of some things that I don't same with you. So, you know, with health and wellness, listen, the three pillars for me is exercise, mindfulness, and then what you eat. Mindfulness is number one. You have to make a choice. For me, I made a choice a long time ago because I didn't feel great. My whole search in life now is to feel good. Why don't you feel good? I, I love my town, Arkansas, where I'm from. Yeah. But, you know, I ate hush puppies and catfish. And I listen, I, li- I lived it. You know what I mean? I, I was a part of it, but I wasn't feeling good. It was probably because of the oils, probably because of things being fried. It was probably because I wasn't eating all organic. And I didn't quite understand. You know, I was an athlete. I did a lot of things in my life. And I was broken up, you know, I was a barefoot water skier, a gymnast and did all kinds of stuff. And, you know, I've got rips and tears all through my body and I knew I needed to stay in shape. I moved out to LA and then before you know it, I'm into martial arts, rock climbing, doing all these fun things. And I, and I, and I was like, how am I going to stay t- like, how am I going to feel good? My body's going to feel good mentally, cognitively. I'm going to be right there with you. How am I going to get this done? And I, and really it's a, it's a full spectrum approach. Your mindset has to be one of, listen, we live out here. All day long, we're living out here. You know this. The TikTok, the Instagram, all the things. And they're they're wonderful and they serve a purpose. But we live so far out here and there's so much noise that how do you go inside? Out here in front of the people listening when you mean like just out of... Out. Yeah. Out. I mean, we're thinking about our dog. We're thinking about our loved ones. We're thinking about, you know, there's so many things. Our careers, our life, you know, all these things. Watching what other people are doing. Watching what other people are doing. But are you really taking truly care of yourself? You can't take care of anything if you don't truly stop, listen, and take care of yourself. My life changed. I tell my husband this all the time when I started meditating 30 minutes a day. And and if I'm I miss a day, it's not, if I miss a day, l- listen, it's not like if I miss a day, I'm a total bitch, but I just notice a difference. Then if I don't have time in my day to just go inward and just be quiet and just think, I'm a, I feel like it's a different energy. It is. It's an uncompromisable that you have to have. And that's, and I think people that have goals and set hard goals and have their own mission in life, you know, my mission in life is to feel good and spread it to others, period. There's no other, that's my purpose. That's it. And it feels good to, to do that. But I have to, I have to sit down. I, I, I don't call it meditation. I just call it stillness practice. Cause I don't like to put a name on it, but I, I sit there, I stretch my spine. I, 
I close my eyes, I breathe deep, and I listen. And if there's noise in my head, I get it out because it's not important. The most important thing is you understanding that you have to take care of yourself first and then you want that you want to actually make those changes because you can make the change. But the problem is we have habits and these bad habits we don't know how to get out of. The trick is how do you take a bad habit and turn it into a good habit? You have to actually say this is preferred and then you're going to have the struggle. And then one day there's going to be a switch and you're going to say, this is a preferred habit. And there's many examples of that. What's an example? I mean, <laughs> let's just say, um, I, I don't know. Like if someone likes to have, you know, uh, say a smoker, right? I mean, that's one of the hardest habits to break, right? I mean, how would you break that? You know, there's so many different ways at it. But if you're, if you've made the choice to get healthier in life, right? You know, that's a, that's a huge goal in, in, in your mind. I have to get healthier. What could you do instead of smoking cigarettes? Is something personal to you? It could be, you know what? I'm going to bust out 50 push-ups, And I'm going to do that instead. I'm going to think about this before I take that, that drag. This you know, guy I, I used to date, when he stopped smoking, he ate sunflower seeds. Yeah, it was his thing. Like, he, he figured out a new habit. I, I think like this is maybe like a a harsh but on on very honest take. I think you you nailed on the head when it's like you're making a choice and a decision. I think so many times in life we give ourselves like, oh, it's I'm going to take you know a few months to get this right, and I'm going to think if I feel good about this, and I might like start like. My whole thing is just make the choice and do it abruptly. Like I used to be a smoker, pack and yeah. day smoke when I was younger. I, I literally just quit one day. I said, it's done. And it's, yes, it's not easy. But no. I think if I was like, hey, I'm going to do like three a day, then four, like to wean myself down, I guarantee you I wouldn't have quit. I, I also just, said those fingers aren't coming near anywhere around my vagina. But <laughs> also, like, we're too. talking about like, you know, earlier, like Cheetos and processed foods, you know, like Lauren and I have made a decision that that kind of stuff just doesn't even go in the house. There's no soda. Mm-hmm. There's no, no chips. There's no problem. Like, we don't like you can't even shop. We and made pick the choice at my right? house too. And so the problem is, I think people go through like, oh, like maybe I'll just have a pack of Oreos or a pack. Of, and it's mm-hmm. it's not passing judgment. It's just if you put these things around you and you give yourself the cheat day and you give yourself the, it's just a slippery slope that keeps enabling you to take advantage of bad behaviors, right? Like it's, it's literally it, everything in life is simple. It's like I'm making a choice. I just don't do that anymore. Just so many people have a hard time wrapping their head around making a strong choice and a decision to stop doing a behavior that is potentially well, it's conviction. You got to yes. have conviction and. And that does start, and I think that all starts with the mindfulness work that you do, right? Because you, you need to stop playing with yourself. Everyone's thinking like, you know, you, you, could, you, could, you could, I'm smart enough. I'm, I'm better than this habit or this addiction. And you're not. You can't beat it. It's got you. It owns you. I've known you too can many. control it. Yeah, you can control it, but you got to find alternative choices. And, and, and that's the trick. Even like with uh, breakthroughs with like extreme sports. I mean, they, 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 to, to get through that other breakthrough to like, turn a bad habit into something that's going to make you pull off that quadruple flip or whatever that is. You, you got, you got to keep learning by, by doing the mindfulness work. Uh, you're exposed to so many different brands at Erwan. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's so many things to choose from. If you were to pick hmm. three things from the store and it could be, you know, it could be a powder, it could be minerals, it could be the sea moss gel, like whatever it is. What are your three things if you have unlimited budget that you would get? I mean, you talked about minerals and water the other day. I mean, obviously minerals that are, you know, water that has min- and your body is, you know, water and minerals. You need those minerals to create those electrical charges and that communication to your, your glands so that your glands can metabolize and do all these crazy things inside of your body. I mean, water is number one, you know, if you can drink waters with minerals or, you know, you can buy water and add minerals to it. Okay. Um, that's kind of like with, with your drink, we got um, Idon Minerals, which has been around since 96. Really cool company. This is, um, I think we have the silica here, which of course we've got the silica inside your drink because, you know, it, it pairs nice with the collagen, which is a primal kitchen, uh, vanilla coconut collagen, which is awesome that we have in your drink as well. These pair up really nicely. Um, you know, silica helps create a stronger bond with the collagen. And as you know, as we get older, the collagen starts to go away. There's a bunch of different collagen that's made inside of your body. But this stuff just pairs well together. Love these two brands. Um, you know, obviously collagen does so many things for the body. I was gonna say you got good skin, man. Y- you know, I'm almost 49 and, Look at and you wouldn't and, guess and, it. And and it's, you know, it's because, you know, for the last 15 years I've been 
I, I eat well. I like I said, I stretch. I'm sure you eat and well. Trust me, guys. Well, I got him under the bright lights. I'm looking in, and yeah. he looks good. I mean, and another thing is that we don't talk about this. Well, that, that's that's one or two. But listen, water. I mean, minerals. I mean, when you just think about like how your body needs 102 of them, right? And you got these like major minerals that you need in your body. You need all these things to be balanced inside your body. And you don't need to be a scientist to figure out how to get this perfect homeostasis inside of your body. Eat a lot of vegetables. <laughs> you know what I mean? Eat your spinach. You know, that's got a lot of sulfur and things like that in it. Um, chlorophyll. Um, drink water that has minerals that's going to help you metabolize your body better because your cells literally the the minerals are working with your cells to like hydrate, pull toxins out, do things for it that are... Minerals are having a moment. Mineral, people are starting incredible. to realize, I feel like minerals are really having a moment right now and people are realizing how important well, it so is to example, add that. for example, like and not to, you know, throw shade at any brands, but, you know, we talk, we make jokes on the show about like Dasani or Arrowhead and stuff like that. And it's, you know, people, a lot of people go into the assumption and this, I understand why that water's water, but it's mm -hmm. just, it's not true. Not all water is created equal as we're talking about right yeah. here. And sometimes you're putting water in your body that, you know, is not going to hydrate you right the right way. It's not going to mineralize your body the right way. It's not going to give you the effect of feeling like you actually have mm. a flourishing system because you're putting stuff that's not quality into your body. And like maybe you're saving a little bit of money up front, but it's it's creating these compounding health problems that you're going to pay for later. What brands would you shout out? Because you're around brands all day long. Like if you could shout out a couple of brands that you think uh, just do it right, that you never have to question their ingredients, maybe that you don't even have to look at their ingredients because you just know their integrity is unmatched. Um, I mean, just brand, um, gosh, I mean, there's so many put me on the spot here. I mean, I mean, first of all, I mean, like, since we're still talking about your drink, we're going to keep peppering this in, right? Yeah. So, uh, I mean, this Akasha, you know, sea moss, another thing that's mineral rich, arguably some say, it, I mean, it has almost 90 some minerals. I'm not saying this does, but there, you know, there's a lot of, there's not a lot of studies not a ton of studies supporting full on like crazy sea moss and and all of its benefits. So people are a little trepidatious about saying what it's good for. But a lot of people out there really feel like it has antibacterial, antiviral properties. Makes total sense. It, it takes out phlegm outside the lungs. And like I said, I'm not a doctor. I'm just saying people, this is what they're telling me. And, and, and I've used it myself and I feel good off it. But I always feel good, right? And I'm always testing things out. Um you know, but uh, I mean, it's just a it's just a sea vegetable. Right. And it's been used for hundreds of years that people don't realize that like when when people have been using something for hundreds, if not maybe over a thousand years uh, and it's for a remedy that it, there's truth in it. You know, you don't need scientific papers, but we all love science behind the stuff that we're ingesting. So I, I'm really a fan of the sea moss and it has really taken off lately. Akasha, a great brand. Um, you know, I get my talking about uh, not only the brands, but the people behind the brands. Um, there's a farm called Yamit's uh, Farm and a guy named George, I've been known him for like 10 years. He gets my almonds, 20, I don't know, 50 miles away and he brings them. So they're truly raw. And then we sprout them and we, well, we wash them. Then we sprout them. Then we press them. And it's all with like, you know, for almond milk, precision engineering here and like, like, like care to get it into a bottle and get it to our stores and this this is real this the star really the star of your sh of the show for your for your drink because it's it's activated it's more bioavailable to the body and that's what people need to realize is like you need bioavailable food food that's easily digestible things that aren't stri you're talking about water the water doesn't have the minerals in it guess what water wants to bind with other minerals and you can actually be pulling minerals out of your body oh. which is crazy right with bad quality water yes yes and so, you know, you want to add like a certain type of mineral to it. Um, you know, I mean, like, listen, there's so many brands that I'd love to shout out, but like, if I do, it's like children, right? It's like saying, I love this one more than the other. You gotta be careful in your role. Yeah, I gotta be there, careful. There, there, gotta be go. careful. I, I love them all. Um, and then of course, Coco June, I use Coco June. Uh, our team uses this in a lot of our, you know, for our like in-house culinary, small batch, you know, th things that we make inside the store. I mean, you saw you saw the story. I mean, it's in, it's incredible. It's like all the all the, and like literally, I have a there's a commissary. It's huge. It's the biggest kitchen you've ever seen, right? And we're making we're, we're prepping sauces and soups and 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 marinades, and then we're taking this and then we assemble it at the store level because you could never even you could never even fathom doing it. And we have just an incredible 
uh, culinary team that that makes all this stuff happen. And, you know, we partner with some cool brands, kind of like Coco June. Coco June has tons of probiotics. That's why we wanted it for the smoothie. We wanted to have probiotics that were cultured coconut in the smoothie. And it's so good, too. So it's, all of these so, things are in, in your drink, the pink drink. This, yes. is, this is the pink drink. Yeah. So you got you got the sea moss, you got the almond, you got, you got the collagen, you got silica, and then you got, of course, five, I think there's five different cultures in here. And this and Coco June's amazing. Like this, the flavor, I've never had it. Coconut's been, we were making our own coconut yogurt before anybody was making it like 12 years ago. And now some, you know, Coco June cracked it. They, 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 they figured it out. The reason I ask is Lauren was like, you guys have been like mad scientists doing this top secret oh thing. Oh my and God. I'm just learning about. It. So I'm like, what is going on? And she's uh, like, okay, I got this drink and it's secret and it's with everyone. And it's, it's called We've the pink been drink. going back and forth on what's oh, in it. We wanted. This is the first time I've seen it and the first time I've tasted it. We wanted a specific really good. millennial pink so people could put it on their feed. But also I think too, a lot of influencers were doing smoothies with you and we wanted to do something a little different. So we made it a drink. Mm -hmm. And then we filled it with ice to bring in that ice element so what, so with are, the ice roller. What's going to happen to me? After, what, what, I love it. What, what's going to happen to me after I drink this? I'm going to have You're going to glow. You're going to glow. Skin. Well, you're going to get your minerals. You're yep. going to get your sea moss gel. You're going to get your probiotics. You're going to get your your activated you your fucking health. almonds, yeah. bitch. And there's a strawberry yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a strawberry You're gonna base. light it up. And there's a strawberry maple mixture in it to make it it's really, pink. It's really good, honestly. It's delicious. I'm not just saying that because I'm your husband. I actually like I actually No, like here's it. what I'll, I like I'll, about it too. You know how when you go to certain chain coffee stores and you order like like uh, like uh, like, a, like a drink that is maybe perhaps pink? It tastes uh, like a syrupy, yeah. sweet, gross. Well, you can have one is. sip and you're done. This is a drink that you can this sip on. This barely has any. It's a maple strawberry infused almond milk with these products plus a multi-generational uh, Philip, Philippine coconut um, that cream that's whipped. It's a, uh, it's a first cold pressed coconut from Zuma Valley. I love, oh. I love those guys. And that's a cool brand that I love. And uh, and that's the coconut cream in there. So it's like, it's no joke. I mean, this drink is a lot of love, a lot of care. A lot of back and forth text messaging. A lot messaging. of back and yeah. forth. Yeah. And, you know, no, this has got to be this. Got to be. And, and that's the way it always works. And, we're, we, you know, we love working with different people because you bring out the best. I mean, it's a community thing. It's a relationship thing because... You know, together we we can do a lot. Are you okay now after dealing with my wife? I mean, I, oh, she's I know amazing. What, I know what oh, it's like. No, no it's no, not. She, she, I'm annoying. I mean, listen. I tell people to be as annoying as possible because this is art. I mean, this is like this is you function. Guys, same kind of brain. This is function and art. It doesn't bother me. Keep bugging me because I need to take this to another level. Because I mean, that's just who I am. I mean, that's just what that's what Erwin is. I mean, we set high standards for many things, and I mean, we're a B corporation. We're a uh, you know, uh, we're an organic certified grocer. I mean, we, we, we try to hit these milestones because it's important uh, that our community knows that we're always striving to be better. And I think that's something that, you know, what I, what I teach in leadership is like, how are we going to get better? This is our best. Great. Love this. And you're, you're amazing. And you're 95% awesome. But how are we going to, where's there's 5% yeah, sure. of growth in there, man. I, I know we can get more out of it. And, and that's kind of the, the ethos of era one, our products, our culinary team, our tonic bar, our grocery, our produce, our nutrition. You so know what I like about Erwan too is you can tell that every area they want to be the best version of themselves. Like you can, I can feel that extra 5% from the store. This store in Beverly Hills, Michael, we'll I can't even out. explain it. Later, too, you so have to like, you, the store is, you walk in and you can tell that it's a bunch of people that are uh, like being, trying to do peak performance, optimal level. So Everything's optimized. It's amazing. If Lauren and I have learned anything on this show this year, and trust me, we've learned a lot. It is the importance of hydration, having the right minerals, staying hydrated, not only for brain function, but just energy and just overall performance, which is why I love and we love Element so much. What is Element? Element is a tasty electrolyte drink mix with everything you need and nothing you don't. That means a lot of salt with no sugar. It contains science-backed electrolyte ratios of 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. Again, we've talked about the importance of all of these minerals, especially magnesium. It's got no junk. It's got no sugar, no coloring, no artificial ingredients. And it's an incredible product to just make you feel like you're performing at a much higher level. The way that I use it and Lauren uses it is every time we go for a workout, we put this in our drink 
mix a little ice in, shake it up. And as you're going through the workout, you're slowly drinking this drink mix and just feeling much more energized, much more focused. And it's because you're hydrated in the right way. Not all waters are created equal as we've learned. And getting this extra boost is an incredible way to up performance in every aspect of your life. Also, if you're like me and you get headaches, I've got them my whole life. Element can help prevent and eliminate headaches, muscle cramps, fatigue, sleeplessness, and other common symptoms of electrolyte deficiency. So it's been a game changer for me. Like I said, I don't get headaches anymore for a number of reasons, but mostly because I'm hydrated in the right way. And things like Element have really helped me get hydrated in the best of my ability. Right now, Element is offering our listeners a free sample pack with any purchase. That's eight single serving packs free with any Element order. This is a great way to try all eight flavors or share Element with a salty friend. Get yours at drinkelement.com slash skinny. This deal is only available through our link. You must go to drinklmnt.com slash skinny. Element offers no questions asked refunds. Try it totally risk-free. If you don't like it, share it with a salty friend, like I said, and they will give your money back. No questions asked. You have absolutely nothing to lose. Drinkelement.com slash skinny. So let me ask you this. And you know, we split to, like now primarily full-time in Austin, which you guys hurry, mm-hmm. up, get, hurry up and get out there yeah. um, and split time. But if you could if thinking about this in all the stores and everything you've learned and everything you know now, if you could wave a magic wand across the country and you could implement a few changes across the major grocery chains so that people would have access to X, Y, or Z, like what what would you implement or what would you get rid of when you think about just the major, you know, the uh, most, most of the stuff in our lives is stuff that we need to eliminate, right? <laughs> toxic food, toxic relationships, setting up boundaries, setting those goals, right? Number one, I mean, it's just hard to do because of our supply chain. You know, it's a, it's, it's a very difficult task and you have to be creative with it. You know, so, you know, for me, I would always recommend anybody, you know, get in touch with their, you know, I mean, know your local farms, know, know where your uh, farmer's markets are, you know, find, you got to find the deals. You got to do whatever it takes. I mean, before I worked at Air One, I didn't have any money. I didn't have zero money, but I was already, my mindset was there. I had to eat, I had to eat organic. I had to eat clean. I had to drink a, a lot of good liquids, liquids that were, uh, structured, you know, structured that have the minerals so that I could feel really good. Um, cause I knew I wouldn't be able to assimilate. My cells wouldn't be able to do what they need to do. Uh, I was exercising more. I did everything I could. And then when you do that and you put that intentions towards anything in life and you set these kind of goals, you take care of yourself. Guess what? Now you're available. Now you can fall in love. You can you get now I'm married. I have three kids. Air nice. one is like married three kids. And now we have eight stores and I have a beautiful community of uh, my team is just, they're, they're the most incredible people you've ever met. Like, and you, you could walk in our stores and you can feel like the way we talk to each other, the way we're looking at each other, you're going to get that same feeling there because they care about you. And that, that's the root of everything is, is, is caring, right? It's like caring about, you know, your own, you know, your, your relationships that you have, that they're healthy. And then, and, and then, and then extending that to your, your community. You mentioned something off air that I thought was really interesting about community. You mm-hmm. said that you text with your customers and I think that is genius. You said you have thousands of customers <laughs> so, that you're texting yeah, with. It's crazy. You said you've tra- you've sent you've used my drink and, and had the customers taste it and they give you feedback. Absolutely. Talk to me about that. That's really intriguing. Our customers, I mean, listen, we we have a lot of customers now. Um, you know, 7 years ago, I you know, every customer you talk talked to knew as much as you did, you know, because they were on that train. They've been on that train for a long time. Um, now we're getting a lot of new customers and new faces, but a lot of these customers that I've known in the past and in new ones that I'm making now, they just have integrity. You know, they're just, they're just looking out. They're looking out for, you know, quality. They're looking out for, uh, I mean, anything you think of that a business is, is looking out for, right? You're, lo- you're making sure that people are treated well. I mean, a lot of people call me like, yeah, you know, uh, I heard this customer and they weren't being uh, too nice. You might want to check the cameras and see if, see if, uh, you know, see if you know this person and, and address them because it's like, you know, we, you know, we, we demand respect and, 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 you know, it's just so much has gone into getting this food and building these teams to get to this beautiful place that, you know, Air One is at right now that, you know, we all have to like hold each other accountable. And accountability is everything, right? It's like building a team or, you know, a husband and wife team or, 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 you know, me with the owners, that's where it's all built. That's trust. That's relationship. And that all goes back to the food, right? Knowing where our food came from and knowing the farms. And that's. So when you text with the customers, will you ask them for feedback on the brands, the smoothies? Like what's the conversation? Is it like, 
are you saying Merry Christmas? Like, is like, what's the, <laughs> what, what is the relationship over text? Uh, I mean, some of it's super real, you know, some of it's super real stuff, you know, like they're questioning everything, you know, I mean, they, they question everything. Like if there's, if they see something that's just off or like, why isn't this, this, or, you know, I mean, why isn't, you know, like from an ingredient perspective, an or ingredient a- perspective, like, what is this? I'm like, wait a minute, maybe that product was grandfathered in and let me check to see and let me check that ingredient. And, and if I check the ingredient and it's not right, I'll kick it out. You know what I mean? I mean, I'll, I'll tell the owners, I'm like, Hey man, this, this is a, uh, it said like artificial or something like that in there. And I'm like, can you check to see where that actually comes from or, 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 or like a natural flavors, right? Some natural flavors, you know, they can organic source natural flavors, right? Um, but sometimes that natural flavor is something weird that you don't want in your food. So we look at it and we get them to send us the information and we're like, well, nope, kick them out. We so your customers out, we are holding a lot of people. Yeah. I was going to ask you, what's the protocol to, to, to be an air one. Say there's someone listening that has a brand that they think has really great ingredients. What's the protocol? Well, brands, it's cool because when brands want to get into air one, um, you know, I mean, there's a standard, there's certain ingredients that we don't allow. And there's certain ingredients that we're looking for and we'll tell them, Hey, listen, this is looking really good, but you need to add this, that, and the other, and you need more organic stuff in there. Like you, you, and oh, change. so you'll actually they'll, work with the brand to oh, yeah. make it Air One. Oh yeah, approved all the time. Oh, that's. I cool. mean, we work with brands. Yeah, I mean, we we've been working with brands, small brands for a long. I mean, that's what we do. I mean, we have we have so many new brands, and then you can't find it. And that's another appeal to Air One is that you just can't find a lot of these brands in other stores. In the big chains. No, yeah. not at all. What is some ingredients that people should look for that you're like, don't even go there. <laughs> like name some things that are hidden, maybe. The hidden, I mean, listen, you know, uh, you know, artificial flavoring. Um, I mean, if it's not, uh, you know, coconut, olive oil, you know, those are my go-to oils. You know what I mean? Those, those, those burn really well in the body and you're not going to get any inflammation. Most oils you're going to, you know, a lot of the oils you see in a regular, oils. yeah, in a just regular grocery store, a lot of those oils, you know, aren't going to be, you know, inflammation is, is what we're all fighting here, right? It's like you have healthy inflammation, like when you're working out or you're, jamming up the stairs and your your bones are bouncing and get these little micro tears in it and your osteoblast and osteoclasts come in there and help repair the bones but it's a little bit of inflammation these are healthy healthy adaptive inflammatory responses that you need right and then there's the the systemic inflammation that we have as a society and that's why you just got to think simple go back to the base being organic food do whatever it takes in your in your life to get as much organic food in you as possible and that's, and that's the first step. And then from there, and don't, don't overwhelm yourself because what I knew 15 years ago, I've thrown it all out the door now because I, I figured out how my body works. I don't over, because you're going to, if you're going to stress about what you're eating every day too, that's, that's, that's a stress that you don't need to deal with. Yeah. That's the other thing is people, they get so obsessed with this kind of stuff that they actually go the other direction, mess up all their yeah. hormones. And yeah, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be something that food should not be something that stresses you out all the time. No. It's a constant, I, 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 I work with people on cleanses and things like that as well. And it's, you should be constantly cleansing and nourishing at the same time. How do um, you do that? Mindfulness, like you know. Not one or the other, you're saying. I mean, listen, can you, can you fast for a day? Sure. I, I fast almost eh, like once a week. I'll go, I'll go like 18, 19 hours where I'm just drinking. I mean, even today, I haven't had anything to eat. I've drank water. I had a green shake that I made this morning with Amla berry, ginger. Amla berry is an awesome berry, by the way. High in vitamin C. What's that? It's amla berry. Um, they use it. Um, it's been used for a long, long time. They say that this berry could sit on the counter for a hundred years and it would still be okay to eat after a hundred. I mean, that's that's how much antioxidants are in it and how powerful it is. Right? I've never heard of that. Yeah, and so, like I did a uh, little, you know, greens, amla berry, um, ginger. Um, I did some uh, humic fulvic acid stuff. Um, did you throw your sea moss in? I didn't throw sea moss in, but I threw in some collagen, but not that collagen. It was another collagen. Um, but, um, you know, and then me and my wife have, have the green drink. We worked out this morning. We, you know, did our whole thing. And then I'm here still drinking water and a little bit of kombucha and I feel fantastic. You know what is another great thing that you guys do right that I think a lot of grocery stores could take note on is your Postmate delivery situation. You, If you guys are ever in LA, mm-hmm. they, you guys have a buffalo cauliflower chicken that is yeah. so good. Every time I order from Air One on Postmates, I always know that it's going to be 10 out of 10, great which salmon. is rare. Yeah, yeah you, the salmon... 
Like there's so many different things that you can get that are so healthy oh, yeah. via delivery. It's kind of insane. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I think like people that are unfamiliar. The pink drink now. Yeah. The, Lauren Bostick's Starting pink soon. drink. People that are unfamiliar with the brand, you know, it could sometimes feel like, oh my God, this is overwhelming. All this is, but mm -hmm. I, but what I got from living here, we lived here for a long time, is that you could always trust everything that you were ordering from mm -hmm. you guys, right? Like, like yeah. if I need a good meal and I don't want a bunch of shit in it and I don't want to worry about if there's something bad in it, you could always go to Erewhon and get something and know that it was solid. I mean, our tonic bar, our prepared foods, our produce department, our whole cold pressed juice department, it's all organic. I mean, it's organic. Yeah, it's, you it, never have to worry about that. It's organic. Well, not to know? shit on Whole Foods, but like obviously the brand has changed over time and there's things that creep in there and you're like, and, and, you know. Yeah, Whole Foods was a beautiful place and it, and it, and it set the groundwork for, for a lot of people and including ourselves. And, you know, I got nothing but love for everybody and every business out there. It's like, do what you do, right? And do it the best. And I think that's that's what we do right now. And, and like I said, with, with owners like Tony and Josephine, and, and I mean, like I said, there's so many people to thank for us being here. There's department directors, you know, there's... Uh, Vito's really, really cool. Vito's amazing. There's, uh, um, I mean, you know, that's, that's Tony's brother. So it's like, it's really a family owned business, you know, the, you, know cool. you got, you know, the merch being ran by their son, Alec and, um, you know, Maddie, who's like um, a, a, their daughter that is like, helps out with so many things with social media. She's just got like amazing taste and... Um, then you got Sal over at commissary, who's like the corporate, he's the head chef and Sal's an incredible guy that used to work for earth cafe and did all kinds of amazing things for them. And then he came over to, uh, with us and, and he's just, he's the mastermind behind that. But then, you know, even our, everyone from our chief financial officers to our marketing team, I mean, there's just so many people that make all this thing work. Everyone's smiling when you walk in, you can tell they love their job too, which they is do. really cool. Yeah. And you met some of my, yeah. my kind of my corporate trainers today and, they're happy because we're making a difference. And yeah. that's, and that's, and, and it's a purpose that a lot of companies don't have, but it's, it's, you can have, you can put a smile. It doesn't matter where you work. You can always try to turn someone around and, and, and put a smile on their face by connecting with them and having a human connection. And that's, to me, that's true customer service. So it doesn't matter that we're selling organic food, but it's easier to do it when you have a strong mission, which our mission is to inspire people to eat better so they feel better. Because when you feel better, you make positive changes. It, would you leave our audience with some product that you would use in the morning and night? So f to wake up, energize, and then to wind down. Yeah. I mean, like I said, this morning I had, you know, a little bit of ginger, the greens hydrate really well. You can do lemon water when you start off in the morning. People love starting off with lemon. I used to do that a lot. Like just have a glass of lemon water. Uh, you dr wake up, drink a little water, drink a little lemon water, and then wait a little bit. Wait till you're hydrated. You, you, that, that lemon and that vitamin C, it's alkalizing. And then, then do a little, then if you want to do coffee, do a little coffee. Then do your, you know, do your greens. Wait for a little bit. And then throughout the day, you got to keep thinking because we didn't really hit this too hard, but sleep is everything to me. It's, 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 it's where you repair. It's where, you know, if you go to sleep, uh, not prepared, it's, it, it, it could hurt you while you're sleeping. How do you prepare for your sleep? Yes. So you want to make sure that when you're eating, I mean, at least eat, I mean, especially if you're eating a bunch of grains and meats and things like that, you want to eat as early as possible and you want a few hours to di digest. Um, when you're going to sleep, you don't want to have to, your body has to use a lot of different functions to make sure that it's digesting, especially if you're sleeping, when your body could be doing other we things. We talk about this all the time. Lauren, I'm going to call her out. One of her worst habits, she eats so late close to bed. No. Like literally. Talk about why that's bad. It, it, it it'll asleep. give you adrenal fatigue. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it uses systems inside of your body that should be used for other things. For repairing while you're for sleeping. For repairing, yeah. like on a cellular level. But no, it's having to worry about digestion. Your intestines are working. Your stomach's working. Your gastrointestinal. Like... Not to get into weight loss here, because I know that's yeah. a touchy subject, but people ask me all the time, like, if they're, what is the number one thing? And I was like, if you're eating three hours before bed, you are almost making it impossible for yourself to lose weight in an effective way because you're taking all of your bodily functions and making them work in a way work that they should Work hard, yeah. yeah. And then that's why you wake up a little tired because your body was working throughout the night. We can talk about weight loss. I bet you're an expert uh, on that. You know, I no? mean, it's dicey. Okay. Okay. But, but it's true. So like people, mean, you know, people get so flustered. I don't ever this. talk about weight loss. I talk about the big picture, right? Right. Like, like we didn't even talk about... But if you want to feel better and healthier too, yes. right? You, you shouldn't eat that, that early close to bed. No, absolutely or not. that late I, close to bed. I, no, absolutely not. I mean, there's a lot of research behind it, but, you know, I'm not. we, we won't get into it, but it's, it's, it's like go to bed light, you know, 
you know, go as, I mean, you can eat a good breakfast in the morning, but like I said, if you're eating, like I said, it is a lot of salt and a lot of sugar and things like that in the morning. I mean, you're going to, you're, 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 you're draining yourself. You're draining yourself. So, you know, the idea is to eat something that's clean, something that's, that's, that's simple to digest throughout the day, right? Bioavailable. You want to keep thinking, is this easy for my body to, to digest? I'm always thinking that. Am I going to feel good after I eat this meal? Like ask yourself simple questions. Like you don't have to know the science behind it. Ask yourself, am I going to feel good after this? Yeah. When I start thinking about, I mean, and I wasn't always this way, but when I start thinking about putting the body through digesting a bag of Cheetos or a bag of Oreos, all mm-hmm. that sugar and all that stuff, it just sounds like, as I think it's, about it, and it's going to sound really gross to people listening, but as it's like thinking about that moving through my body and my system and touching everything and going out, like it just sounds bad. I mean, when you think how just miraculous, like your body, this, this life that we're living doesn't mean you can't play, you can't party here and there. You can't do some crazy stuff. You can still do, you can still moderate your life. But for the most part, I mean, this is a, this is a one shot opportunity for us to live the most fullest life we possibly can. It's like your gut, your intestines is the hub that takes all the energy that you're putting into your body. And that's where, that, that's where it all begins right there. And are you absorbing it? Is it, is it truly absorbed into your body? Cause if you're eating crap, Obviously, your body's going to absorb it, and it's and your cells aren't going to function. Your your intestinal lining's not going to work. Your your um you know your my, my microbiome is going to be whacked out because the bad bacteria is going to take over. Which that whole culture inside of your body, the microbiome, that gut brain connection they keep talking about, it's real. And the more science that's come coming down with it, it's it's huge implications. So I mean, that's like like the gut of the earth. I always say is like the soil, right? The soil, healthy soil, is very aerobic. It, it like it feeds off of itself and it's, and it's, and it's sustainable and it's, it's absorbing water and you produce beautiful food out of it. Right. Which, you know, we have a lot of cool farms that we work with that are actually regenerative uh, farmed, which is a, a whole nother topic. But I look at your, your stomach as the same thing. Is it fertile? Is it full of bacteria that is healthy bacteria? You want that microbial fight going on. It only, it only strengthens you, your immune system. Um, it, it's incredible. And how we can get that is through, would you recommend like sea moss gel, probiotic? Yeah, cultured vegetables. Yes, yeah, sea cultured moss. Cultured yogurt. Um, you know, uh, eating, I mean, eating, I mean, and vegetables are prebiotics. Like it's a lot of vegetables are prebiotics. I mean, I don't eat bananas all the time, but like just a simple banana is a prebiotic. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a fiber that doesn't dissolve great in it, but your biome will feed off of it. And so when you have a healthy gut, then you want to start thinking like, okay, now I want to feed the healthy gut. But if, but if, you're taking antibiotics and you're eating the wrong foods that could mess with your gut. Your gut is so huge. If you, if you, so many people have come on and said that they, and it's like high expert doctors. People have said, just said the gut's so overlooked. It's it, it but it's, it's really becoming, well, think it, of the havoc we're wreaking on it too, with some of these substances we're putting into it, right? That's the, that's the problem. It's like we're more diseased now as a population than we've ever been. And that's that, that chronic kind of inflammation, you know, that's a systemic inflammation that, Unfortunately, it's because of our food system and it's, uh, it's, it's messed up and, and we got to find alternatives because, you know, right, right now it's all about my kids, man. It's like, it's my community and my kids. I'm lucky that I live here. I'm lucky that I'm with a cool company. And now I just want to give my kids the tools so that they know. I mean, I'm trying to teach them. Like, you you know, have the whole toolbox. At I got the toolbox. And, and so, uh, you know, I'm trying to teach them now. I'm like, hey, listen, sure. Do you want, okay. You know, like every once in a while I'll do something crazy and like go to an in and out, you know what I mean? And I don't do it all the time. Probably we should be saying this on the air, uh, but <laughs> you got to balance. But but it's like it's and I tell them straight up. I'm like, this is not good for you. We're having fun. This is just being silly. We just got back from the amusement park. Let it all hang out. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then but I teach them about it constantly. I'm teaching them about you know organic and you know if it's grass fed beef or not or where it comes from and you know yeah just getting the balance so that it's the majority of the time you're thinking that way and not treating your, not abusing your body the majority of the time. I think that's, that's how a lot of people in this country go through life is they abuse the hell out of their body and their mind. And then they once were like, oh, now I'm going to be healthy. They do that for a little bit. They go right back to bad habits. It's like, if you could flip that in 80% of the time, take care of yourself, eat yeah. the right things, eat so organic, then still you can have some fun. Like nobody's saying don't have fun, but not 80% oh, of the time. Oh, you can do it. I mean, my, my Mondays through Fridays are, I'm just crazy. You know what I mean? I'm like, I, I want to be, I work out. I'm, I'm, I'm doing all my, my, my things and, you know, weekends, you know, if I'm hanging out with a buddy from Arkansas and he 
cracks a Bud Light. I'm like, sure, let's have one, man. You know what well, I mean? Well, I think that 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 is the message, though. It's like you can't be perfect all no. the time. But what's what's worth it? Like for me, it's not worth it for my almond milk to yeah. have carrageen or or yeah. whatever you call it. Yeah, How do yeah. you say it? <laughs> I'd rather just get a fresh almond milk. But yeah. maybe I want a glass of wine on the week. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's you got to balance it out. Yeah, and, and I mean that's what it's all about. You know, it's um, fi- it's it's. Yeah, I mean, it, it's like I said, I think the mindfulness practice is, is huge too, like, because that helps you figure out what's worth worth it or not. Because you know, I always sit down, especially on Mondays, and I sit down, I'm sitting there for 20 minutes, I'm breathing, I'm my mind is still, and I'm like, why did I do that? Did I need to do that? Probably not. Come on, Jay, you can do better. That's uh, that's my conversation too. I'm, I'm, I like to reflect on like what I need to do better. It's It's a great like strategy session with yourself to be mindful. Not only that, if you're doing a little bit of, like I always say, like if you go home at night, especially if you have you know, whatever relationships you have in life, we all have relationships. I'm always thinking like, how could I have like approached it differently? You know, I'm, I, I don't have regret, but I'm like, you know what? I, I could have probably been nicer about that. And I, I probably could have conveyed my message differently from that. And I, and I, and I actually check in with myself at night because, you know, I lead a bunch of teams. So I'm, I'm always trying to empower them and cause I'm teaching them, you know, they're going to be marrying me sometimes and how I, 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 I coach them and then I wake up in the morning and then when I do the mindfulness work, I kind of check back in with that stuff that happened the day before. I'm like, today is a new day. Well, I have to give you a compliment. You, there was a team member that was doing something right today. And I don't even think you knew I was like watching. Yeah. And you went up, to, he went up to her and he said, hey, I just want to acknowledge that you just did such a good uh. job. I don't even know what you said, but she was, she felt, I could tell she felt so empowered. And I think that, that is stuff goes important. a long way. Yeah. I, I, I try to recognize everybody. Um, you know, uh, yeah, no, it's, 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 it's important. I mean, like this, the, the, the young woman today was just, you know, I was back there a couple of days ago and I was actually making some drinks, you know, just, you know, rubbing, you know, getting in there and doing my thing with the team. And, and I was just like, man, this person is rocking. And I, I said, I hope, I hope she's being recognized. And it just, I made a mental note, you know, that and, was very, very, very nice. She was very happy. Yeah. I'm going to have you tell us, uh, you're the scientist, the mad scientist. Nah. Tell us uh, the breakdown of exactly what is in this drink, and I'm gonna pepper in my my reasons of why I wanted certain things. You have a sprouted, activated, <laughs> local almond milk that is infused with a gorgeous strawberry maple jam that is covered with a multi generational coconut first pressed cream that we whip and we put on top, and in all of this stuff. We also mix in with our vanilla collagen. We mix in our primal vanilla collagen, our kasha sea moss. We have our cocoa june vanilla, which is incredible. And of course, our silica to take the collagen to the next level. Bam. And, and, it, it, and it's just amazing. It's an amazing drink. I mean, good job. I mean, this was your this was your baby. I just you said you wanted this, that, and the other. And I said, you know what? Let's uh it's like someone building a house. It tastes really good. Guys, not, if you want to know what I'm most thing, annoying whole... about whenever I create something, I, like the most annoying thing with the ice roller and like the pink balls and even the tone of my book <laughs> and the smoothie, it's the tone of the yeah. pink. And with Jason, I was like, we kept working with the tone. Didn't want it to be too red. Didn't want it to be too purple. It's the perfect shade of pink. If someone wants to make it at home, is there any tips that you would give them? If someone's like listening in Florida. Well, making almond milk is so easy to do. I mean, you know, you could, you know, try to find the, the most fresh almonds you can find and soak them in water and you put them in the fridge, you know, 8, 10, 12 hours. You take them out, you rinse them off really good, blend them in a, in a, in a blender. Real, so easy. You blend them. And then you then, then after that, you put them in a nut bag. You, there's this easy nut bag and you squeeze the cream out and you add some water to it. I, I do this. I, I literally make my own almond milk at home because it's fun. It's putting your hands on your food is is so important. Um, and, and you really feel like the, the, the love behind. I mean, what this journey has been for this freaking almond. It's it's amazing. So you make the almond milk and what else would and they then, have to do at you, home? Then you can get like, you know, get some fresh strawberries, get some maple, you know, get some cocoa juice, throw that in, mix it all up, pour it inside the almond milk. I mean, you don't have to blend it all crazy because it... Yeah, know, it's, just, not a, just, it's not a smoothie, guys. Kinda, it's kinda over ice. It. Yeah. And then, um, you know, as far as the coconut cream on top, that will be hard to do. But if you, there might be some frozen sections around there that might have a coconut cream you can buy and then you would thaw that out and then you would whip it in the blender and then you'd pour it on top. Option to add vodka. No, I'm just kidding. Don't <laughs> add, add vodka. vodka. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't add vodka. How long, how long is this going? 
Yeah, what's the, it, it runs for a month. It launches September 15th. September 15th. It, yeah, and it's going to be going for a beautiful month. It's and, in all Air One stores and you can get this super cute sleeve that says Lauren Bostick's pink drink that we designed specifically for your feed. And I think you guys are going to absolutely love it. Oh, we, we love it. We love everything about it. Yeah. And the brands uh, I will shout out in the beginning because there's some amazing brands that we worked with. And Jason, thank you so much for coming on. Thank, thank you. you so much for allowing me to do a drink with you guys. I'm so excited. And I just know the community is going to love it. They're Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's over ice. I mean, the taste is incredible. I and the function the thing, is incredible. And it's, you know, and plus it's fun and it's, and it's connected to you. So we're And very, it's the right tone of pink. Uh, abs- the perfect tone of pink. Where the, can the, everyone... The exact Pantone. The exact, <laughs> the exact Pantone. Where can everyone find you, Erwan, pimp yourself out, the store, everything on Instagram? Yeah, I, I mean, obviously go to erwanmarket.com. There's so many resources there. You can go to uh, Erwan. Um, I think our Instagram is just Erwan Market. I mean, it's, we'll link just, everything up. Yeah, link, link everything up. But yeah, I mean, you know, we're, 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 you can talk to any store director at any store and you can get a hold of me any day, all day. I love it. Yeah. Thank you for coming on. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you.